Hi, welcome to RK Broadcast. In the data science and machine learning, we have been using a various distribution functions for data analysis. But sometimes we, we, we are a bit confused that in which scenario we are going to be use these distribution functions. In this video exactly with the scenario where you will use these distribution functions. So that is the more focus in this video. I listed few of the popular distributed functions, namely a Bernoulli distribution, uniform distribution, binomial distribution, normal distribution, Poisson distribution and exponential distribution. About these popular distribution functions, what are exactly the scenario where we are going to apply these distribution functions in the data analysis. Let us start with the first one, Bernoulli distribution. This describes the events have exactly two outcomes. So when we are going to be take the scenario like where there is a event will be happen, there are there is possibility of only two outcomes. Like example, we can say whenever we can toss a coin, uh, there is a two possibilities, either it might be an head or might be uh, tail. So such a kind of scenarios. Uh, there probably we can uh, we, we mostly we can use such kind of scenarios like we can say like a new uh, born child either is a male or female so there is on also only two uh, possible outcomes like either the student will exam pass or fail so th these are also two outcomes so when there is a situation scenario there is the event will happen the result will be only two possible outcomes then we are going to be apply this Bernoulli distribution for data analysis let us you see that uh, there is there is a diagram is represented like how it can be uh, showing about only two possible outcomes this scenario is the example here to uh, talking about that uh, Bernoulli distribution let us come to the uniform distribution and in this distribution uh, sometimes also known as that rectangular distribution so because that that graph is going to be formed like a rectangle in this probability distribution it has been constant probability uh, the scenario where we are exactly use this uniform distribution is like when you are going to rolling as uh, a, a die then there are total number of six uh, sides of the die and uh, each side has the same probability of being rolled face up so like this uh, equal probability for all the events are going to be occur so in such a kind of scenarios uh, uh, we are going to be use the uniform distribution then the third one is binomial distribution and uh, the binomial distribution is the sum of independent and identical distribution distributions or distributed uh, Bernoulli random variables there is a relation between uh, the binomial distribution as well as the Bernoulli distribution. So why? Because in the Bernoulli distribution, normally uh, we can use one single trial of event. But here in the Bernoulli, uh, binomial distribution, uh, normally we can use the uh, multiple trials of the event. So actually the both binomial and Bernoulli experiments have only two outcomes, either true or false, success or failure. But the difference is that the binomial experiment will include only a single trial. Example, we can say when you toss a coin a single time, then there is a possibility of head and tail. But when you come to the binomial distribution, we can toss the coin six times. Uh, so there are six possibilities, possible outcomes are going to become. But each event is independent. It does not depend upon the another event. So that is that identical or independent events has been happening. And there are multiple trials in the event but each event is independent like i say i said that example is like we, you can toss a coin uh, six times there are six possible uh, outcomes uh, there is a chance of six possible outcomes but each event or each toss does not depends upon another so such a kind of scenario normally we are going to be used binomial distribution in the data analysis then another important and popular distribution is normal distribution sometimes we can also call it as Gaussian distribution so it describes uh, how the values of variables are distributed uh, so basically it is saying about when you are going to be um, take that number of values or an objects we are going to find the mean of the, all the objects so more majority of the majority of the data objects are very nearer to the mean then we can say this is a normal distribution 
uh, example we can say in the uh, classroom uh, more in the classroom the height of the students the height of the students is distributed in the form of uh, uh, normal distribution like majority of the students height is um, very nearer to the mean of the height and very rare might be away from the mean of the height so in such kind of scenario when we are going to be analyze your data the normal distribution or maybe gaussian distribution um, can can be used then come to this poisson distribution this is another popular uh, probability distribution that can be used to show how many times the event is likely to occur within a specific period of time the scenario exactly but the probability when the event occurs in the given time or distance area or volume is the same but we exactly saying that how many times the event is likely to occur within a specific period of time uh, let us let us give let us say the scenario where exactly we are going to be used in the poison distribution say for example um, there are number of cars passing at toll gate in one hour so we can mention in a specific time period how many times the event is going to be occur so each event is independent of all other events but within a specific time how many times the event is happening that same same scenario like i i um, mentioned uh, in the toll gate you are going to be observed within an hour how many cars are going to pass so in such kind of scenario going to analyze your data uh, normally we can use the poisson distribution uh, let's come to the uh, another important thing is called exponential distribution and uh, this exponential distribution is probability distribution of the time between the events what happen in the poison process like there is a relation between uh, poison and this like uh, how it can be if you think about the amount of time until the event occurs means during the waiting period not a single event has uh, happened like uh, see the example uh, as earlier we mentioned that uh, in the poison distribution within a one hour how many cars are come to the uh, come to the uh, come to and pass the toll gate but here a number of hours between a car arrival in a toll gate means uh, what is the time of the two different events has been happen uh, for example how long the car battery would last in months is one one kind of scenario uh, we might we may use this exponential distribution and another one is called number of hours between a car arrives in a toll gate uh, like uh, one car came now then what is the time taken to come to the another car plus number of hours between a car arrives in the toll gate so these are the distribution functions mostly you know the distribution functions but what exactly the scenario can help us and where exactly we are try to use these um, distribution functions in the data analysis so in that context uh, you might understand where exactly the scenarios help and use these distribution functions